right. Well, we're so happy to be here tonight. My uh, my friends from the outside of my work world get to meet the friends from inside of my work world, which is my boss, Norma, and her assistant, Bob. <laughs> And um, I'm trying to get the two groups not to talk to each other so they don't tell too much. But it's really an honor to be here with my boss. He always calls me his partner, and we work together as a team, and it's a great honor. And for over five years, we've uh, worked together, and we've been through thick and thin. I think we're going to make it now, aren't we? So if you're in the mortgage business, first of all, you're the Antichrist. And uh, second of all, you've been through a whole lot, so we're ready. Um, Appreciate you inviting uh, Token Pentecostals here to be with you at the Catholic Brothers. Um, you wonder why he invited Pentecostals. The best reason I can think of is, actually, I'm Pentecostal. Anybody else here raised Pentecostal? We've got some Baptists in the group. And what uh, Gatlin calls Methodist, just Baptist, afraid of water. And, um, and so I just figured, hey, hey, Bob thought, well, how, how's... <laughs> Uh, we'll invite Noel, who was raised Pentecostal. Uh, there won't be a whole lot to scare him. I've kind of seen it all. And um, so we're, we're at, so I didn't know all my Catholic tradition like I should. You have to forgive me. So I, I came to a, I went to a, a parish the other day, and I snuck up beside uh, four ladies that were talking. They looked to be in their 60s, maybe some a little bit older. And I thought, well, I'm going to learn something. They, they were bragging to one another. One of them said, my son's a priest. And when he walks in the room, all the ladies say, Father. The other one said, well, that's nothing. My son is a bishop. And when he walks in the room, all the ladies say, Your Excellency. And the other one said, well, that's uh, nothing. My son is a cardinal. And when he walks in the room, all the ladies say, Your Eminence. Fourth lady was silent for a little while she said i think i've got you all beat my son is six foot four is well built muscular tall dark and handsome when he walks in the room all the ladies say my god <laughs> i don't have any better theology than that <laughs> We did. We did used to talk about the uh, the little uh, the Catholic kid who was praying on Christmas Eve. We're gonna sing a Christmas song. Is that okay? In July, we're gonna sing a Christmas. Song. We're gonna sing a lullaby here in just a minute. And uh, he was praying. He said, "God, I want that bicycle." And uh, Amen. Jumped in bed. He thought, "You know, I don't think I got my bases covered." He jumped out of bed again. He says, "God, I really want that bicycle." And I just can't tell you how much or how serious I am about this, but I want the bicycle. It needs to be under the tree in the morning. Amen. Jumped in bed. A few minutes later, he said, I just don't have this thing covered. So he jumped out of bed, ran down the street to the, to the uh, church, cathedral, the parish, build, the building. <laughs> the stained glass windows and everything. I do go to church every once in a while. So, um, and he ran up to the front, he got one of the small statues of Mary, tucked it under his arm, ran back, ran down the street, up to his bedroom, stuck the statue of Mary under the bed, got down beside the bed and said, Lord, I really am serious, I want that bicycle. But if it's not under the tree in the morning, you'll never see your mother again. <laughs> that wasn't nice. Was it? <laughs> Did I, I cross the line there? You better shut up. Let's sing our Christmas.